I'm Dr. Richard Isaacson, Brain and Life Magazine editorial board member, and I'm so pleased to be here with Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Sanjay, you were profiled and uh, got the cover story in Brain and Life Magazine this month. You know, you just wrote a book called Keep Sharp. Um, I learned a lot about uh, brain health and, and keeping one's uh, brain uh, resilient as we age. What are the two or three most important things you've learned about brain health that you want people to know? I think the, 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 the biggest point for me was that we can do things to, to improve our brain health. I, I, I know that sounds like a very simple statement, um, but, but even as I was writing this book and talking to my colleagues in neurosurgery, and uh, th there is this idea that, you know, you sort of, you know, you get what you get and, you know, the, the brain cells sort of get drained, the cash gets drained as you get older, and we go through this process of wear and tear. And some of that is true. I mean, there is, there is normal cognitive aging, but the idea that there, there, there is preordained to have these pathological changes, I think is not true. And we can significantly improve our brain function throughout our lives. I, I, you can grow new brain cells. If you do so, uh, you, you can have a better life now, a happier life, a more productive life. You can be a better husband, father, wife, colleague, whatever it may be now, and also help protect your brain, make it more resilient against disease later. I, I just found that really inspiring. We didn't think that was necessarily true one to two decades ago. But I think that, 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 that science is really catching up. If there's one thing you'd like our readers to know about what they can do today to keep their brains healthy tomorrow, what's that one thing? I, besides believing that it's possible, if I had to incorporate one thing into my life, because there, there's the basics you have to lean into, you have to get the, the rest and the, and the right nourishment and, and the right amount of movement and all that, but I, I've really adopted this thing into my own life recently where I try and every day take a brisk walk with a close friend and talk about my problems. And I, I pause a little bit when I say this because I, there, there's so much that goes into that sort of statement. The idea of what is the right kind of movement, the idea of, of connection offering a, a, a certain amount of protection and why that is but also it's the type of connection that you have, the, the, the profoundness, the depth of that connection. And that, that activity you know, um, offers, offers you many things. There is a best way to live your life in terms of brain health. And that's just one of the examples that I've adopted to try and get to that point. Great, thanks so much. Thank you.